to all of our international visitors who are joining the conference from outside Vietnam. As any true Hanoian will tell you, autumn is the best time to visit Hanoi. The conference today is about bringing people together from all over uh, East Asia and beyond, uh, United States, UK um, and many other countries around the world and sharing everybody's experience and everybody's views on how we can make language assessment better in the future because the conference believes that if we have good language assessment students will have better chance of success and they will be successful in a test which prepares them for what they need to be doing in the real world outside the classroom. East Asia is it's a very large region with um, a lot of countries that are developing very fast and because the countries uh, want to engage in training and international uh, education and international trade then uh, the English language is becoming increasingly important in a range of different countries here in East Asia. I'll be addressing a particular approach to thinking about policy and then trying to apply that uh, to policy related to assessment. Policy always involves things on which equal goods are being balanced and therefore you don't want to maximize one too much because you're going to shut out the other good that you're trying to achieve and therefore a certain humility uh, and pragmatism and realism in policy uh, is always a good thing. By attending this conference, um, I found that there seems to be some kind of tension between a local tests and the internationalised, uh, more standardised tests to promote locally um, developed tests and as well as um, requesting the um, standardised test to provide more useful feedback that is quite useful for the local context. The challenges for us as a local uh, test is that, that we need to justify why we need to develop a local test. We have been working very hard to also promote the international recognition of the local test. The British Council does produce uh, global examinations. So we work with the University of Cambridge, IDP, to produce the uh, IELTS examination, which everybody understands, and that's the same all over the world. The same with Aptis, which is a global examination. But what we also do, which is what we're doing in Vietnam, is working with the local ministries of education and universities to create examinations which are as reliable and as valid, as good examinations as those international ones, but which are more suited to the Vietnamese context. So that's where we work in partnership. Uh, assessment, no matter whether it's at the classroom level or at the national level, uh, should always focus on learning. Um, and therefore, uh, the message uh, holds true for the teacher in the classroom as well as uh, for the policymaker uh, in the ministry. Washback is a very important issue in Vietnam. And I like what Jim Mitten Lee said this morning. We all teach to the test, and especially in Vietnam. But if you have a good test, then, then we can teach to the construct of the test, which should have positive washback effect. Well, there are certainly people who will try to uh, just learn how to take a test rather than learn English. Uh, and therefore, uh, we find it that we, we think of it as our responsibility to help people um, see it as a learning experience rather than as just a testing experience. tác với hội đồng Anh để mình xây dựng cái trung tâm đánh giá cái năng lực ngoại ngữ. Đây là một trong những cái hoạt động rất là quan trọng của cái đề án ngoại ngữ 2020. Trong nhiều năm qua thì chúng ta là tổ chức giảng dạy, đào tạo giáo viên các thứ. Thế nhưng bây giờ tới cái bước là chúng ta phải kiểm tra cái thành quả đấy theo tiêu chuẩn quốc tế. Thì hội đồng Anh là có những cái hỗ trợ rất là tích cực cho bộ giáo dục đào tạo, đặc biệt là trong cái việc là xây dựng cái khung trình độ quốc gia. Cũng như quốc gia này không phải chỉ riêng về ngoại ngữ mà trong tất cả các cái lĩnh vực về đào tạo cái đóng góp đấy của hội đồng anh có ý nghĩa rất là quan trọng đối với cái đổi mới ví dụ của đào tạo như này. This is a very 
important milestone in the history of uh, language assessment in Vietnam. I'm doing a speech tomorrow about the history of language assessment and I want to refer to this as one achievement because now we have uh, international experts working together with Vietnam which I cannot think of maybe five years ago. So now I'm hoping that we are, this is the start of something really important in the history of language teaching in Vietnam. I was quite yeah, amazed at how organised this um, conference is and how yeah, varied the speakers are as well as um, you, know, what, you know, how eager the, the, the participants are to listen and ask questions. So it's a, a great venue as well. So yes, I think, I think this conference is very successful and congratulations to the organisers.